Good morning, students. Welcome to All Force e-learning classes. Today, we are discussing the second unit of economics, first year, theories of consumer behavior. We have seen already this law of diminishing marginal utility two parts. Today, we are going to conclude that law of diminishing marginal utility. So we have seen all these things like what is utility in this chapter from the beginning it is recap i will explain you again utility cardinal utility ordinal utility total utility marginal utility definition meaning assumptions after that we have seen the table and graph now i am going to explain you the limitations of law of diminishing marginal utility that is law of diminishing marginal utility popularly called as law of dmu okay now the limitations i will complete the limitations then we will start again from the beginning in the today's class we will conclude this law of diminishing marginal utility which is being proposed by first gossen and which is being developed by alfred marshall now we will see first limitations what are the limitations of this law of diminishing marginal utility is related with assumptions all those 10 assumptions i hope you are opening your textbook and you are watching uh, all those assumptions and all those different different parts table and graph now every assumption turns to limitation at the beginning itself when i was explaining you the assumptions i told you because assumptions are the foundation for the law of diminishing marginal utility whatever the law we are proposing that law is certainly standing on the foundation of assumptions so those assumptions are the limitations of this law of diminishing marginal utility now we will see one by one the rationality of consumer in fact that is one of the assumption rationality of consumer but in fact rationality of consumer is always at a question at a doubt because plenty of people when they are intoxicated have some liquor they don't have any rationality and you see it has been clearly written on the cigarette box that smoking is injurious to health it causes cancer but still people purchase cigarettes with a price of somewhere around i don't know exactly some 15 rupees 20 rupees something like that they put into the um, uh, shop and they will take a cigarette which causes cancer and people eat tambaku that is tobacco which causes cancer in the mouth but still they are using it how can we say all the consumers are rational so if the consumer is not rational then this law is not going to be applicable so that is the assumption consumer is a rational person but if consumer is not a rational person then this is not applicable because a drunkard when he is totally pungeti bo he is having too much of alcohol he won't say no as you offer more he like to take more the more will give him more satisfaction than the previous one see law of diminishing marginal utility says as you consume more the satisfaction supposed to decrease but here it is exactly against to that so intoxicated persons drug addicts those type of people we cannot called as rational consumer if the consumer is not rational then there is no applicability of law of diminishing marginal utility now we will see the second one goods if not independent if goods are not independent you cannot measure the marginal utility in general goods are not independent i told you already a cup of tea depends on plenty of things a cup of coffee depends on plenty of things a shirt depends on plenty of things cloth texture and even the tailor who stitched it with the stitching is good or not everything matters because commodities are not actually independent what combination you are wearing and particularly girls they know better we boys we go with 
shoes accessories shoes jeans shirt whereas girls they want everything matching from chappal to hair bond everything supposed to match see whenever you do something the marginal utility is not independent if the goods are not independent this law is not going to applicable means most of the times goods are not independent the marginal utility is not independent it depends on so many factors those are called as complementary goods a belt matters if i am giving you the lecture sl matters my microphone matters everything matters but law of diminishing marginal utility depends on commodities are independent but if the commodities are not independent then this law is not applicable now let us go to the third one marginal utility of money is constant which is a little bit doubtful marginal utility of money is not really constant it also changes but that is one of the assumptions marginal utility of money is constant next if the commodities are not homogeneous if the commodities are homogeneous then only this law is applicable if they are heterogeneous if they are different from one to another then this law is not applicable next one if the goods are too big are too small this law is not applicable because if the goods are too big you are not going for the second one if there is no second one there is no marginal utility see when you take the additional commodity then only we will calculate the additional utility but here commodity itself is big you don't need the second one then you cannot calculate the second commodity's utility and if it is too small you cannot calculate if it is too small actually marginal utility going on increasing because it is too small to satisfy your want it is too small then as it increases the satisfaction also increases so for the commodities which are too big or too small this law is not applicable okay now we will see already i given you an example of you are in the desert and someone is giving you water with a small spoon your satisfaction is not going to diminish actually with every spoonful it is going to increase so if it is too small not applicable too big not applicable okay now let us see durable goods actually for durable goods you cannot calculate the marginal utility why because for a longer period you are going to use it even if you have more commodities still you cannot calculate that marginal utility for a shorter period because you can use it again and again in the coming future so for durable commodities this particular law is not applicable that is one of the limitations to the law of diminishing marginal utility law of diminishing marginal utility law of dmu next if the assumption is there is no change in the consumer behavior but in real life consumer behavior always changes consumer choice uh his habits or his preferences everything keeps changing from time to time i given you an example that yeah cotton t-shirt well it suits in the summer not in the winter a sweatshirt colorful sweatshirt or sweater is more suitable for winter not for summer see as these things are changing law of diminishing marginality fails to explain this concept so if consumers chance a choice or uh, what uh, we call preferences changes this law is not applicable next we will see hobbies like stamps and coins stamps collection which is generally called as philately in the philately the people prefer to purchase uh, uh, gather more and more stamps postcards envelope letters etc etc it's like a it's like a addiction they like to collect more and more stamps but even though they are collecting more stamps same type of stamp if two or three comes his satisfaction decreases he want different stamps different covers envelopes 
and he goes on collecting them he will get more and more satisfaction like a stingy person he earns more and more money he get more and more satisfaction so I, I, for some things this law is not really applicable okay and uh, now we will see the importance of this law yes it is a very important law that's why i told you from the beginning we will watch this question answer particularly at two levels one is at knowledge level another is at marks level this knowledge is going to be useful to you early in the morning while you are purchasing the vegetables from there to when you complete your mba and become a marketing manager till there or you are a producer you started your own industry they are also going to be helpful to apply this on consumers because this discusses about consumer behavior okay so here the importance diminishing marginality base of law of demand and equi marginal utility here let us see what is mean by law of demand actually whenever price increase demand decrease whenever price decrease demand increase that comes under law of demand why it happens like that is explained by diminishing marginal utility here let me explain you how this price and quantity is demand is related with remember when you go to the market vegetable market along with your mama you will see even the woman uh, uh, a lay woman who is not so educated she is also playing this diminishing marginal utility concept or law with you listen what she says half kg like 15 rupees okay half kg 15 rupees per kg 25 rupees she is not saying per kg 30 rupees she is saying if you take half kg 15 rupees total 1 kg 25 rupees it's supposed to be 30 rupees no then why it is 25 because as the quantity is increasing from half kg to 1 kg your marginal utility is decreasing if money price is also decreased then you will purchase it when you are purchasing half kg generally in a family half kg vegetables are enough okay that's why what they say 15 rupees to make you to purchase another half kg they tempt you with decreasing the price of that another additional marginal half kg so that's why what they say half kg 15 rupees kg 25 rupees not 30 rupees they are trying to tempt you to purchase 1 kg instead of half kg by giving discount on marginal commodity that is extra half kg so that they know your marginal utility is going to decrease for that extra half kg they decrease the price and they make you to purchase it that is what i just now i told you price increase demand decrease price decrease demand increase if it is for first half kg 15 rupees it's okay it's locked it's locked next half kg if they decrease the price demand increases for extra commodity so even a woman from a small village who is not so educated she also plays this law of diminishing marginal utility on you and your mama to purchase the commodities see so simple to understand dmu is based of law of demand as well as equi marginal utility equi marginal utility means equalizing the marginal utilities we will get the marginal utility by purchasing so many commodities we don't actually purchase only one commodity whereas law of demand is applicable to only one commodity at a time if you go on purchasing only one commodity without time gap then only law of diminishing marginal utility applies but here even if you are purchasing not one commodity two or three commodities there also law of diminishing marginal utility is applicable how this marginal utility decreases when this marginal utility is decreasing then how you prefer going for another commodity maybe uh what is your favorite color you tell me just from there what is your favorite color oh it is blue color that's good but do you have all blue color shirts no you have different different color shirts 
Okay, girls, you tell me. What is your favorite color? What? Oh, yellow. That's good. Your favorite color is yellow. But do you think all your dresses are yellow color? No. If you purchase all yellow color, your marginal utility goes on diminishing. Right? See the importance of that. That's why in your wardrobe, not only yellow color, other than yellow color, you have plenty of color dresses. So it means what? We are trying to increase the marginal utility by changing the commodities. So here it is applicable with the help of law of diminishing marginal utility. A, a factory or a company, whichever the products they produce, they go with something different. You see, Hero Honda, they go on introducing first CD100, after that Splendor, after that Passion, after that Splendor Plus, Passion Plus, Shine. Why they are changing these models? To give more satisfaction. That can be explained with the help of diminishing marginal utility. That is the importance of diminishing marginal utility. In the coming future, you will understand this concept in much detail in the degree first year that is in business economics and in MBA that is managerial economics the first lesson will try to explain you what is this GMU so try to understand this here itself if you have any doubt ask me now let us see the second one design pattern and packaging yes every time they want to change some design see all the two wheelers are same two wheelers with a handle with a light, two wheels and a seat to sit. But see, there is a difference in the design. Someone will put the shocks front and back. And uh, what this uh, Bajaj people says, we put not two shocks in the front and two shocks in the back. Four backs and four front sides. So you will have more luxury. See, some change, some variation. With that variation, they are trying to give more marginal utility. They change the color. If you have Two Activas in your house. Two Activas. Both are Activas. But do you have both of them the same color? No. Color will be different. Because if you purchase the same color, another Activa, your satisfaction decreases. See, law of diminishing marginal utility. If it is homogeneous, satisfaction decreases. So it has been explained by law of diminishing marginal utility. Next, let us see. Design changes pattern changes oh about the pattern i cannot explain particularly if you go to shopping with your mama particularly silk sarees pattu sarees then there you will see within the blue color they will see tens of shades within the green they want the mixture of blue and they want a different design to the same saree and that uh, Pattern should be different. Color should be different. They have plenty of different, different things at one place. They expect. They assume. The other people will think like them. And they make that pattu sari to suits to their vision. See? Why these designs and patterns? Because maybe already they have a silk sari of that color or that design, that pattern. Or maybe someone whom she know may be having a pattu sari with that color design pattern. So she wants that color with a different pattern and design. This is all why, why they are doing that. Because of only one reason. If this sari and that sari is same, the satisfaction decreases. They want something different. So that's why designing pattern, packaging, these are all due to what? Diminishing marginal utility. They want to increase that marginal utility. So that's why producer always keeps playing the games. Next we will see theory of value and supply. Supply, demand, etc. etc. Theory of value. This world is different one. Value, value in exchange, value in use we have seen. They have different things. The things which are value in use may not be having any value in exchange. We have seen that. See here, air will have value in use, but does it have any value in exchange? Because it has plenty, abundant. See, more plus the value. Marginal utility decreased. Less 
more value because marginal utility increases water very precious one for uh, every human being or every uh, living thing but does water have the same exchange value like gold or anything else no what for what for we use the gold it doesn't have any usage value only it is a decoration but it got lot of value because its quantity is less that's why marginal utility is more so it explains about the theory of value more the supply less the value less the supply more the value that can be explained by diminishing marginal utility because supply is less marginal utility will be more okay now the last one diamond water paradox this is just now i explained you here i explain you simply what is this paradox paradox means a statement which is controversial in, in itself is called as paradox again i tell you paradox means a statement which is controversial in itself means it talks itself as wrong it says it's right then it says it's wrong that is called paradox okay now we will see diamond and water actually what you need out of these two diamond and water you need water more but its value is less why because marginal utility is less because supply is more quantity is more okay see the paradox diamond what do you why do you need the diamond only to put into the gold ornaments it shines no doubt it shines what you are going to get out of the shining without water you cannot survive but supply of water is more that's why value is less here diamond supply is less that's why its value is more even though it does not serve any purpose for our day to day life we are not going to depend on it for our survival but still the value of diamond is greater than the water this is diamond water paradox usage value is more exchange value is less usage value is less but exchange value is more see here the paradox which gives more satisfaction supposed to be costlier right right which gives more satisfaction supposed to be have more exchange value but here which gives more satisfaction have less exchange value which gives less have more price means more satisfaction less value less satisfaction more value but it is shortage that's why it gives more satisfaction to the human beings that's why it gives more exchange value with this we completed this total chapter of this topic of law of diminishing marginal utility but still i like like to recap everything from the beginning of this chapter first utility the want satisfying power in any commodity is called utility cardinal utility if you use the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 5 those are the cardinal numbers if you measure and uh, compare utility with those numbers then it is called cardinal utility ordinal numbers means first second third fourth if you use ordinal numbers to compare utility then it is called ordinal utility total utility depends upon the quantity of commodities as the total quantity increases total utility increases marginal utility depends on total utility total utility present if you minus total utility previous you will get marginal utility tun minus tun minus 1 okay that is marginal utility additional utility definition i told you as the stock of any persons goes on increasing the marginal utility goes on decreasing if you have mangoes and the thing mangoes stock is going on increasing the satisfaction going on decreasing that is the definition which is way explained in that meaning next assumptions we have seen 10 assumptions like uh, consumer is a rational person and there should not be any time log and uh, marginal utility of money is constant and consumer behavior i mean his preferences should not change there are 10 assumptions after that we have seen table and graph yesterday in the last class i explained you very detail still again i like to see that unit of x let us say mangoes 
total utility quantity on quantity total utility depends marginal utility depends on tun minus tun minus 1 from first mango you got 40 utils of satisfaction previous doesn't have anything so marginal utility is 40 minus 0 present minus previous previous there is nothing so 40 minus 0 40 this is marginal utility let us come to the two mangoes when two mangoes are used two mangoes the total satisfaction is 70 utils tu is how much 70 so according to present according to previous 70 minus 40 you got from second mango second mango here first we said two mangoes now yeah, I am saying second mango the marginal utility is 30 okay from three mangoes consumer got 90 utils of satisfaction but from third particularly third mango he got marginal utility of 20 how did we get this 20 90 minus 70 present minus past or previous present is 90 previous is 70 90 minus 70 20 from third we got 20 utils see marginal utilities keep decreasing fourth 100 utils 100 minus 90 10 fifth same 100 100 minus 100 0 sixth we got 90 utils decreased 90 minus 100 minus 10 so in this way marginal utility kept decreasing where total utility become maximum there it becomes zero and later it started becoming negative so total utility increases becomes constant and decreases marginal utility all the time decreasing becomes zero and goes negative here we will see the same thing total utility first keeps increasing then it becomes constant and after that it starts decreasing okay whereas marginal utility from the beginning decreasing where the total utility is maximum there the marginal utility is zero when total utility decreased marginal utility become negative so with this we have seen the total law of diminishing marginal utility at detail maybe you are having some doubts those doubts can be clarified without any problem as you ask me by the phone okay with this we will conclude the lecture today